Kaylee, pop up. What do you like? Kaya karanga morgan timate puku puku u. If you're gonna cry, cry. If you want to yell and scream, yell and scream. If you want to get angry, deal to it. Get it out of the way, and then we can all face what's ahead of us. We had cut a care, um, and we talked about it, and we talked about it, and the mukapunas were there because. In it, well, I know what affects me affects my children, what affects my children affects their children. Munga tanga ta katoa ko ta taringia, ka pā hoki ngā toi maha tanga ki e tahi atu. Kia tū pato mo te mate puku puku u me o na tohu, me whakamā tautau mate puku puku u. Ko te whakamā tanga o te mate u taitai nei, Tāku mōhio ka hipatū koe i te whātu kaumāri ma tau, ka tūmata koe i taua tau. I a rua tau tōru tau pe ka haere koe ki a whakamātanga o au. Ka tika me haere koe i a wā ka karangahia koe. Ki te kore, ka tūpū mai tēnei mate katai ka taia te tapahi nei, te poka nei i te au. Pērā i te maha o ngā wahine Māori kwa tā te āke a karanga ki te whae ngā whakamātau tau u. I te wā o te tataritanga, ko maurawa te mate puku puku u. Nō reira ko tahi ana ke te hurahi, ara ko te pukanga u me tona waihanga tanga anō. So my greatest fear was, OK, movie stars, they have all this thing and you hear on the tabloids or all that, that it costs X amount of dollars. Do I have that sort of money? And the answer is no. And second of all, where do we go? And I thought, no, no, let's not even go there. Don't worry about things. Don't see things that aren't there. Don't create problems. Just deal to what you know. Find out as much as you can. Denise sat with us and, she, and I says to her, OK, we now know it's a confirmed diagnosis of cancer to the right breast. We know that I would need uh, a mastectomy, which is the removal of the whole breast. You spoke about a reconstruction. Can you tell me more? And I said, but before we go there, I can only go there if I consider the dollars. How much is it going to cost me? And she said, um, it is part of the treatment. And I said, OK, so what is the cost factor to this? And she said it's part of the health system. For a lot of people, I mean, a breast still constitutes um, a part of your body That's image. Right. It's your sexuality, your femininity, all those sorts of things tied up with a breast. Mō te poka ngā u, ka tangohia te kiko kiko o te u, ko ona kiri me ngā kōmata, ka mau tonu ko ngā ua ua pakitara o te uma. Mō ngā tūroro o te poka ngā u, ka kore e whiwhi i te whakaoranga ira meheme kāre te tapahitanga i te tika. Meheme kua whakaaitia ki te poka ngā u, e huarahi wā te anō ko te waihanga nō o te u, ka whakamahia i te wā o te poka, hai muri ake nei rā nei. When we actually went in to the hospital, to the plastics unit at a hut hospital, Lillian from the Māori unit was there to greet us. My family were with me. I went and got changed and did my pre-op preparation stuff. Then they gave us a room where we could actually sit, talk and have our karakia. Nō te mea ko rātou te ukai pō o te whānau. Ke te ora rātou, ko ora te whānau. Ke te kahore rātou te ora ana, ka mate te whānau that I was secure that in going through this process that my family were OK and they understood where things were at. And that was probably quite crucial to being open to the operation, to moving in and having the operations with a clear mind and um, a clear heart. Ko nga mahi ka mahi ana e te tākuta, ka kōrero hea ki te wahine nei. Tuatahi ko te poka nei, te tei paku wahanga te u, ko ia tērā hoki te tapahi nei i te u, atu i tērā ko wetahi rongoa ka kainga nei e te wahine, ko te chemotherapy tērā, anō nei ko te haumanu ira ruke, ko ia tērā ka pā nei ki tērā wahanga o te u, ko te radiation therapy. 
Engari katika ma te tau tāku te e kōrero nai e nei kōrero ki, ki a koe. The preparation of the operation would be that they would take the entire breast. They would send that away to pathology to be tested and that would determine any further treatment um, and what type of treatment I'd need. And then while that was happening, the plastic surgeon would be then making an incision into my tummy where they would start the reconstruction. And the reconstruction was that some of the, t uh, the tummy muscle was going to be rebuilt to the chest and the hinu that I had around my puku would be built onto that, thereby creating a new breast. So they had used the skin from my tummy. My only concern was that I didn't want it off my butt. I didn't want my butt on my chest. <laughs> because you never know later on. <laughs> so that was a concern, and we had discussed that. And I think that was one of the good things. We could talk about it where it was going to come from, and they spoke about how it usually came from the back. But given at the time prior to surgery, I had enough there <laughs> to fill the spot, it was really, really good. Muri mai te pokonga u ara ko te poka tango i te u, ka tono a te nuenga o ngā wahine ki te waihanga no i ora tau u, ko te taha henengaro, ko te taha tīnana hoki te take. E tahi wā ko te kiri ki te wāhi o te u ko tangohia, me toro ki mui te tīmatanga o te puka. Nā te whakauru i te tahi wāhanga e kia nei ko te expander ki raro i te kiri me ngā ua ua o te uma. Kua rite te expander ki te poihau, a ka whakaki ki pōturi nei te wai tai i te wā e te kāna. Kua tika te toro o te kiri, kua rite mo te puka tuarua ka tangohi atu rā, ko te expander me te whakaki ki o te wāhanga hau tūturu. Hoi e tahi wā ka tāia tonu ko te noho motu hake o te expander. Ko te tahi atu puka waihanga anō ko te tango o te kiri ora me ngā ua ua mai i ngā wāhanga anō te tīnana, ko ngā kiri o ngā ua ua o te tūara te tahi. Mo te puka o karanga ka tangohia ko ngā ua ua roto o te puku kia nuku atu ki te wāhanga o te u mo te waihanga. He maha hoki ngā wāhine e hia hia ana ki te waihanga kōmata me ngā u hou. Ka tāia e ngā wāhine te whiriwhiri wā mo te waihanga u hou i te wā o te puka u Ahako ko te hia hia o e tahi, kai muri i te puka. Because I prepared myself really well, I dyed my hair so that I would look the best I possibly could when I came out of theatre. I uh, didn't want any grey shine, shaved my legs, <laughs> did all the things because I wanted to be at the, in the best possible shape that I could be. And I went, they pushed me into my room and I looked around and there were all these folkies there. And it was all my own family and I thought, my God, they're crying. I've passed away. I've died. <laughs> Everyone's crying. And I thought, oh my goodness me, I have, I've passed away. Because I could just see people right round with tears. My mokopuna was crying. And then my son, my older son Ryan, came over and he gave me a hug and I thought, no, I'm real, I'm still here. So, and I was just overwhelmed with the feeling of peace and aroha that was in the room.